Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about Disneyland Forward becoming a reality a little bit closer today. So, we all saw Gavin Newsom at Pride Night yesterday being Tuesday in attendance at Disneyland. But one thing I did not think about, could he have possibly met with Josh tomorrow? Gavin Newsom? What? <laughs> So I saw this photo on uh, Gavin Newsom's Twitter, or not the, it was just the governor, it was just the government, but um, I, them meeting together, this has big implications, and with the whole concept that they're behind or in front of the concept art of Disneyland Forward, this is big news. We all know how everything has gone down with Bob Iger, CEO of Disney, and Ron DeSantis over there in Florida. A lot of canceled plans, billions of dollars at stake, and that whole concept that Bob Iger keeps throwing out there that we're going to spend $17 billion over 10 years over the head of Ron DeSantis. Well, that investment money is probably still going to be going out there because, you know, running Walt Disney World is very expensive. But at the end of the day, where the extra budget could go, possibly Disneyland. Disneyland's been uh, campaigning big time at the city of Anaheim for Disneyland Forward. The process that they've gone through is to almost convince the community that this expansion is good for everyone, which it is. Disneyland brings so much tourism, money to the hotels, all the businesses in the surrounding areas, just a lot of positive uh, on that intake. Another thing is Disneyland's really been pushing for essentially what they're calling a rule book. Uh, this outline that they could start building if Disneyland Forward did get approved and then uh, how to budget, create buildings and what sounds, and like the sound pollution that they could do. Just that whole concept of expanding the theme park to where housing is on that side, uh, which I think is Walnut Street. Recently, they just built that DVC hotel. Uh, so that's something sightline wise and building wise that's already been approved. But they're trying to get that expansion for Disneyland and then California Venture to go on the other side of Disneyland forward. And that's what you're looking at right here. We've been seeing a lot of construction. And at the, at, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's all unknown what is actually going there. And that's on the other side of the monorail entrance in downtown Disney. It's been a big dirt field for a long time. They've really pushed heavy now into that project as of late, as we're seeing some buildings get erected, the foundations for them coming to life. But we don't know what, what is going there. Uh, we did see a picture, what we thought was like a third gate. Uh, but then the question is like, why would there be a third gate? Like, where would that go? Well, it's Disneyland forward. It has to be. Uh, there's no other reason that they're really pushing to get this Disneyland Forward project uh, approved, budgeted, and then come to life quickly uh, more than this photo right here. That's what this photo, <laughs> to me, that's the statement that I get out of this photo. Um, this is an article from blogmickey.com. Gavin Newsom is out taking pictures with many people on Pride Night. And uh, here it is, the photo in its entirety. The, the crazy part is they showed another photo. This is the photo that I'm talking about. For some odd reason, they're like, take Gavin over there to the dirt field, put up these, <laughs> these concept arts, and uh, let's, let's get a really cool photo and take, <laughs> take, take this as like marketing that we're really serious about this Disneyland forward. Um, but what I wanted to point out out of this photo, other than Gavin Newsom being on this dirt field and which is a construction site of the future of Disneyland. What is this right here? I have yet to see this one. I haven't seen that. Really curious what this is. Uh, if anybody has a photo of this or just some like context to this, can you send it to me? Uh, either email it or hit me up on Instagram at the Cali Bay. But this is interesting. I have not seen this, and, uh, you know, we've all been asking, too, where's Dintai Fung going to go, the Portos, uh, just, like, what, what's even coming here to this dirt field uh, across ESPN zone, but it's just very exciting. I, I really feel the concept of Disneyland Forward is becoming way of more of a reality. 
uh, as time goes on. Disneyland wants to definitely invest heavily. Uh, they just recently released as well the park attendance for Disneyland, and it was ex very high compared to other theme parks around the world. Uh, it was one of the most visited theme parks uh, all of last year. Let me go to that real quick. And this is another tweet from Scott Gustin, as you see right there, number two, Disneyland. Uh, and that's attendance in the thousands, 16,881 in the thousands. Wow. Literally crazy. So yeah, investing in Disneyland would be a great move. They already said that they want to do Avatar. The words that have literally come out of Bob Iger is that it's going to be as grand as what they have in Florida. They also said that it's about capacity and uh, it's an experience. I don't know what that means when it comes down to Avatar, uh, but we've already seen as well too with the movie slate of Avatar that there's going to be five of them, even though it goes all the way to like 2031, which is pretty crazy. But Avatar is very, very important uh, to the Disney company and where the future is going to go and where Disneyland's going to go. What are your thoughts on seeing that picture of Gavin Newsom, Bob Iger, Josh Damaro all on the same photo with the concept art of Disneyland forward in the background. I'm very excited. If I'm not mistaken, we are in the time frame uh, that Disneyland was going to submit to the city of Anaheim that rule book that I'm talking about. And if it could get approved, then they could start actually creating true uh, imagineering in regards to buildings, uh, the lay of the lands, and the structures that are going to come to life in this new Disneyland forward. Only time will tell. All right, everybody, just want to do a quick video and get everybody up to date on what's happening. And uh, if you haven't already, go check out my Pride Night video. I did post it today, and it's a full vlog going over the day with Monica, my sister. We had the greatest time ever. All right, everybody, we're firing it down.